you're going to want to grab a small wooden bowl from a thrift store plus some chicken wire and quarter inch metal hardware cloth when you see how adorable these two garden ideas turned out. I'm rolling out some chicken wire, then stabilizing it with two boards, then cutting out three squares using wire snips. Now I'm creating a way to join two ends. I'm snipping off one side with some wires sticking out and the other side with the hexagon shapes closed. Next I'm joining the two ends together by twisting the longer wires to the closed hexagons until I create a closed tube shape. Using both hands, I'm closing one end of the tube by squishing the wire together, then inserting a fisted hand inside to give the top a round shape. Now I'm removing my hand from inside the tube and closing the other end, shaping the wire into a snowball shape. I'm also creating two others slightly different sizes, so I have a total of three. Now I'm mixing a tone of paint that resembles an allium flower, which is a mix of pink and burgundy. Using a small paintbrush, I'm painting the outside of the wire, allowing the paint to drip. To paint the inside, I'm sticking the brush through the wire, then utilizing those drips to coat the inside. Now I'm choosing a natural green paint tone to paint three bamboo garden stakes. Using a small drill bit, I'm drilling one small hole through the stake near one end, then twisting it to drill another so there's holes on all four sides. I'm cutting two wires about six inches long, then threading the wires through the holes while giving them one wrap around the stake so they stay in place. Now I'm inserting the wired end of the stake into the bottom of the flower head and attaching them together using the wires and repeating the process with the other two as well. Using some Dollar Tree faux grass, I'm separating the bunches then clipping the wires at the base. I'm gauging where to attach the leaves then drilling a hole through the stake and inserting the grass wire through the hole then twisting it around the stake until it's firmly attached. So before the big reveal, let's make one more thing with hardware cloth and a wooden bowl. For this project, I'm using quarter inch metal cloth, which is important. Larger or smaller squares will not work. I'm going to cut enough wire to roll, then fit inside the rim of the wooden bowl with a tiny bit of overlap. Next, I'm going to create a safe edge by bending the wire. I'm positioning a metal ruler along the top of the wire edge with about half of an inch to spare. Then I'm using another ruler to bend the overage up and on top of the other ruler. The wire is being rolled into a tube shape, then I'm joining the ends together with snipped wires. Now I'm gauging the length of the tube to about 10 inches long, then cutting off any overage. I'm now shaping the tube into a square shape so it has four corners. I'm cutting each corner about 3 inches long. Now I'm going to cut triangle shapes out of each corner so each flat end side has a point. Next I'm going to round each point so the tips resemble more of a rounded scalloped edge. Now I'm folding all the curved corners on top of each other to create a closed end, taking care that I'm leaving a curved shape. To attach the layered ends, I'm inserting a wire inside the tube, then threading it through the bottom and twisting it closed from the outside. I'm also attaching any cut edges that are sticking out with more wire so I'm left with a flat, safe surface. Then all the wire ends are getting trimmed off. For some final shaping, I'm using a hammer to hit the bottom quarters to create more of a rounded shape. Now I'm reshaping the open end back to a rounded shape so it'll fit inside the bowl. I'm now drilling a hole into the bottom of the bowl, then screwing in a hook. Drilling a pilot hole first makes adding the hook so much easier. Now I'm filling the inside of the caged area with black oil sunflower seeds that fit perfectly inside the quarter inch metal cloth. I'm drilling two holes through the sides of the bowl, ensuring they are large enough for a couple of nails with larger heads to slip through. Using wire cutters, I am creating a rounded entry into each of the four lower sides of the cage, then inserting two short wooden dowels through the holes. And you are left with an adorable acorn-shaped bird feeder that holds enough seed to last a good long while. The wooden bowl is weather durable and offers sturdiness, while the caged area offers just the right sized mesh to hold lots of seed that isn't difficult for the birds to eat from. The presence of birds is said to benefit your garden, helping keep pests at bay, and it's so enjoyable to watch their visits while I work or relax in the yard. The chicken wire flowers fit right into the yard, adding a touch of whimsy to any flower bed. They are easy to place anywhere your yard could use a little touch of color and interest. Thank you.